There's a land of Nana. Me and Jack are getting ready to drop off those knives at the cafe. Damn, somebody lost all the mattresses. You can find us a parking place. A Mayflower Cafe, right there, is it? Yeah. The park in the back, I guess. Stand by. Well, there's a ring man's nut. He just sent it to me. End of a spoon, a couple of little small doodad things, a nice cool little bottle. Diamond, nickel, no tickets at all, he said. No silver. Said the guru at him, but, but they didn't find any gold. Well, it's a nice day for a spin anyway. Bound that way tomorrow. Battery charging. Good luck to everybody. See you later. The saga continues. It's Wednesday now, about 11.30. The tide's low at an hour. I'm not going to make it. I got honeydews. I got to get part of dinner ready. My leader's, Chris's birthday is today. She's older today. So we're having a little celebration at the house. Nothing exciting. But there's a few little meager details I need to pick up. And then I gotta do some stuff to get the dinner ready. So no spin today. Like I said, it's, it's in the high 70s. I'm in the mid 70s somewhere. I don't know where it is. I know it's nice though. And tomorrow it's supposed to be, uh, the temperature's supposed to drop. I think it's supposed to be nice though. But you see, you couldn't draw this on paper and be any nicer today. Uh, I know Denny's not going. He's having a birthday party at his house, too. I don't know about the guru. I ain't talked to any of the other guys. See you soon. Well, it's Wednesday. I got a few knives from the eastern shore this morning. It's a beautiful day. Temperature dropped about 40. I mean, dropped about 30 degrees. It's in the, I think it's going to make it in the 50s today. But we got a little breeze blowing. I've got some more knives coming in this afternoon to polish only. And I got to take that big survival knife back to that fella to this afternoon. Plus, I'm getting ready for the gun show Saturday and Sunday. Stand by. This is a whole set of Wustos, except for that Henkel right there. Henkel. Henkel. Funny, isn't it? Now the screen's a little clearer. Custom made knives, Jody Witt in Florida. Man, these are nice. And these, their hands are made out of what, Chris? These are uh, French maple. French maple. And here's the Damascus one. That's what? Giraffe bow. Giraffe bow. Woo, that's nice. And this one? And that's the South American, some sort of a specialized hardwood from South America. South America hardwood. These knives were in shape. I didn't sharpen them. All I had to do was buff them off. They were a little bit, from laying in this box, they had a little tarnish on them. Pretty nice set of knives. Well, the guy just called. Corey, his name is. The guy with the Rambo style knife that I refurbished a little, sharpened. He's on his way home, said he'd be home in 20 minutes. That's about what time it'll take me to get to his house. And I'll show you what that baby looks like put together with the handles all on. 
But if you remember Rambo, it's just like one Rambo carried in the movie. At least I think it is. Big Jack, he said, I'm out of the house. Now I have a big update. Update for you. You remember that uh, scratch off ticket I showed you earlier in this video for $250? Well, that was a mistake. Sorry to say I made a mistake. When I gave it to the girl to cash in, she said, Oh, you won a lot of money. I said, Well, if I added it up, I won $250. And it popped up on the screen, $500. I said, well, I can add it right here on the front. What, $250? She said, no, no, no. These kind of tickets, when you win all the scratch-offs on the back, you win some more money. So we had to turn the card over and scratch the back of it, and I won $250 on the back. 500 clams in one day. That's a lot of clams. I like clams. I need the clams, too, buddy. Mmm. Come in nice and handy, won't it, Bigel Jack? Okay, that's the update. See how this knife goes together soon. Stand by. Previous yeah. ones I tested. Oh, when I first got my. Some of Jared's other things. This one is well. That one that you just picked up was well used. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one used to shave. I don't know if it still. And does. you call this thing a what now? It's called a gauntlet. Gauntlet. Yeah. This is just hand slides in this thing right here. Great Google Mooga. Yeah, shaving a little bit. What gauge did you use? Uh, I think it's down to six microns. Nice. So that's what. Uh, no, it's 19 down to. Gauge? Uh, no, it's down to. Uh, what did I put on that? I ended up with five. That's thirty thousand grit. Nice. Yes. Yeah, and it got any you retipped it for me. A too. little bit, yeah. I mean, there's I only so it, much you can do on it except that was that put bad. The, put the handle on. I want to see what That'd it is. That'd be a bit of a... Is it hard to put on? Sometimes, because you got a bolt in here. It's, oh. like I said, it's old, but, um... This is... He's a little punk sometimes. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me That's go a get my toolbox. Now this is one of the finest finds I've seen in a long, long time. My buddy Bobby Witt, Bobby W. found it. It's a Virginia Halfpenny, 1773, right out of the ground. Look at that taquito. That's on my bucket list. But I doubt is I'll ever find one since I don't dig in the dirt much. But it's a fine ticket. Thank you, Bobby, for sending it to me. And let me use it. <laughs>